This is going to be a quick video. Just wanted to show you how to change the entry delay on your Honeywell Vista 20 system. I've had a couple people ask about this. Now you got to be real careful when you're in programming. If you do not do this for a living, you don't have a programming guide, or you're unsure of yourself, you can mess up some things in here and your system will not work any longer. So be very careful when you're in programming mode. Uh, to get into programming mode, as long as nobody has to change the installer code, the original installer code is 4112. So we're going to push 4112800. That takes us into programming mode. Now again, if you don't know what you're doing, you probably shouldn't be in here. Hit star 99, get out. If you have any doubts, again, if you get in the wrong section, start pushing buttons. You can inadvertently program something wrong. So to change the entry delay, star 35 takes you into the entry delay. Now you'll notice there's one and two here. There's actually two numbers you need to enter here. One's for partition one, the other's for partition two. So real quickly, if you have, for instance, an office building, you can actually set the front part of the office building on one partition, the back part on another partition. So you can actually arm or disarm one side or the other. Most houses are not set up that way, but you still have to enter the entry delay as if there were. So once you're in here, again, we're gonna do it two times. So I'm gonna make my entry delay 90 seconds. So I have to hit 90 and 90. You'll hear the panel beep. When you're done, you hit star 99 to exit. That takes you back to your main menu. Now your entry delay is now 90 seconds. Now, if you want it longer than 96 seconds, so if you need the delay longer than 96 seconds, 97 is 120 seconds. 98 is 180 seconds and 99 is 240 seconds. Uh, now when you're setting your entry delay, you also have to remember that until the alarm actually goes off, uh, if you have a monitoring contract with somebody, uh, nobody gets notified until after the siren goes off. So if you set it for 240 seconds, that's a long time for someone to be in your house before the alarm goes off. One other thing you can do, and as I do more of these videos, I'll explain a little bit more as I do them so you kind of understand what you're doing, not just pushing buttons to make it happen. Um, but you can actually create two entry delays for your house. So let's say it's a garage door. Let's say your bay door opens up and your alarm starts counting down. Um, you can actually set the bay door itself for, let's say, 240 seconds. So when you've got time to pull your car in the, the garage, get out of your car and go to your entry door of your house. The entry door of the house you could actually set for 15 seconds or 30 seconds. By doing that, that keeps you from having to set an ex extremely long delay. And if someone does try to break in your house, you're not creating a, you know, a longer time for someone to get to you.